another dream when I encountered this spirit, she tried to choke me. I've, awful, I've also dreamt of Azazel. In the dreams, he acted as if we were married, and I saw him come down from the sky, and he picked me up. He usually appears to me with long, pale blonde hair and blazing blue, dark blue eyes. I could tell you, dealing with fallen angels are different than dealing with demonic spirits. Most of the time, demons paralyze me while attacking me, whereas these fallen angels do not, and their touch is hot. Once when one touched me on the chest, he told me to use my chakras, and he whispered, the name Inki, which is one of the Anakai, which is weird because I had no knowledge of them at the time. These fallen angels who just these fallen angels would just stand in my room menacingly, and I could feel their presence. It's hard to describe. Once or twice I could feel them tugging on me and once hopping on me. A demon usually has a more cool presence. Fallen angels are the principalities described in Ephesians six twelve. They are a higher being than demons. I also find it funny that these so called alien abductions are scary and people have to learn to grow used to them. And they're and these aliens are obsessed with producing a hybrid race. In the apocryphal book of Second Ezra five eight, it speaks of a time when menstruous women will give birth to monsters. So women on their periods, which is bizarre, will be giving birth to monsters? What? I don't know about you, but I don't want to be included in that statistic. Coming back to paranormal romance, it is my belief these fallen angels will pose as some type of extraterrestrial, most likely the Anakai, pretending they created us, and they want to take us to the next stage of evolution tampering with our DNA. The mark of the beast will probably entail some type of DNA altering. It won't just be some RFID chip. That's too easy. We know God flooded the earth because everyone was contaminated but Noah and his family. If you watch Ancient Aliens, which I've seen countless episodes, they drive home to you that aliens are our creators and are the missing link to the evolutionary puzzle. Since monkeys suddenly jump to humans, which is complete bull, this is why almost every paranormal romance book, the woman changes her DNA or becomes what her lover is as well. Mating with them and producing their children will not be enough. Take Bella Swan, for example. It wasn't just that. It wasn't enough that she had a hunky vampire boyfriend. She had to change her DNA. And this is a reoccurring theme for these sort of books. The woman becomes a vampire, werewolf, and etc. She is always happier when she changes herself because she can live forever and be with her otherworldly boyfriend forever. This is why so called aliens need our eggs and sperm to create their weird test tube hybrids since they can no longer breed and people have to learn to adjust to being abducted. And women wind up pregnant and just to be reabducted. The Watchers taught us about genetic manipulation and splicing. This is nothing new, and we are seeing it again. Also, some think just because we don't hear about angels having sex with human women, again, af later on after the flood in the Bible means they simply stick to bioengineering, which is also false, because we wouldn't have the spirit-spouse dilemma, and I wouldn't be making this video right now if that were the case. This sick, twisted, depraved, symbiotic relationship they tend to share with humans is proof that they are still doing this to this day. With songs like E.T. by Katy Perry, Supernatural by Kesha, which you've probably heard in the background, and the list goes on, it's clear that pop culture is really eating up this genre. Not because it's something new, but because it's a reoccurrence. It's a reoccurrence, and we are going to keep seeing it more and more because it's becoming more prevalent. Not to mention Hollywood's preparing us for this deception that will be coming onto the scene. That's why they've made the new heroes, which I could talk about in another video. I'm afraid to say, when these things come down, women will rush into their arms. It's not just teens and young women caught in this. There are plenty of erotic books on this, and many Christians which, you know, pertains to the older women. And many Christians are large contributors to this and muck it up, seeing these as harmless and pure fantasy, which is sad since they are buying into this Luciferian deception. I understand that a lot of women are frustrated with the way men treat them, but these beings are evil and incapable of love, despite what these books say. Having dealt with both demons and fallen angels, I can relate to this. I know some of you watching this may thumbs me down or may say I'm lying or ignorant, that the Bible is just a myth. I'm brainwashed and God does not exist. I've even had New Agers say Nephilim were the good guys, which is 
which they probably have been reading or watching Mortal Instruments. But that's fine, as long as I get the message out there. I refuse to just sit around watching people feed themselves this poison. I'm not... And not to say any... It's a shame so many people have jumped all over... All, so many people haven't jumped all over this and exposed it. Rather, they say it's demonic. Move on, rather than going into the true deception behind all of this. This is why they spend their time making videos exposing the triangles, the one eye and videos, but yet they don't talk about the deeper issues and why this is actually a problem. I think a lot of people understand the Illuminati does exist, or the Illuminati is a pop culture movement, yet people do... People still question its existence, which I don't see how you can. It's not that these celebrities are in the Illuminati. It's that they're puppets to the actual elitists in the Illuminati, but that's another story. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions you or have any dreams or visions or experiences with aliens, incubuses, succubuses, spirit spouses, or fallen angels, please inbox me and feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching and God bless.